हेलो गाइस आई होप यू आर डूइंग रियली रियली वेल टुडे आई हैव विद मी द न्यू सैमसंग गैलेक्सी एस ट्वेंटी टू अल्ट्रा फोन एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई विल शो यू टॉप टेन टिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स सो गाइस यू सी ओवर हेयर इफ आई डबल टैप ऑन द स्क्रीन द स्क्रीन टर्न ऑफ इफ आई डबल टैप अगेन द स्क्रीन टर्न ऑन सो हाउ टू इनेबल इट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल गो इन टू दी सेटिंग्स ओके एंड वंस यू इंटर इन टू दी सेटिंग्स जस्ट स्क्रोल डाउन एंड यू विल सी एन ऑप्शन ऑफ एडवांस्ड फीचर्स ओके जस्ट सिलेक्ट इट एंड वंस यू सिलेक्ट इट यू विल सी एन ऑप्शन ऑफ मोशंस एंड जेस्टर्स जस्ट सिलेक्ट इट एंड वंस यू सिलेक्ट इट यू विल सी द ऑप्शन ऑफ डबल टैप टू टर्न ऑन द स्क्रीन जस्ट इनेबल इट एंड द सेकेंड ऑप्शन डबल टैप टू टर्न ऑन द स्क्रीन जस्ट इनेबल दिस एज वेल सो एवरीथिंग इज रेडी एंड यू कैन यूज दिस ऑप्शन The second tip is related to lift your phone to wake up. Okay, so you can see over here. So how to enable uh, this uh, option? So first of all, you have to go into the settings. Okay, and once you enter into the settings, you will see an option of advanced features. Okay, you see this advanced features option. Just select it, and once you select it, you will see an option of motion and gestures. just select it and the very first option over here it says lift to wake so just enable it okay so to turn on the screen when you pick up your phone so your screen will turn on when you pick up your phone okay so you can see the phone is off now so if i just move it you see the phone will turn on so this is how you can use it uh, the next feature is related to the adaptive and uh, standard uh, display so just go into the settings and then select the display option and once you enter into the display option you will see an option of motion smoothness so one the first one is adaptive uh, it uh, used 120 hertz okay the second one is standard it used 60 hertz and it will save the battery so it's up to you whichever you like for the better smoothness uh, always select the adaptive mode and then uh, you can um, uh, enjoy your phone with more smoothness okay the next feature is related to the screen resolution go to the settings okay once you enter into the settings you will see an option of display enter into the display and then you will see the option of screen resolution so guys now you can uh, select the wqhd plus with adaptive mode as well okay so we have hd plus fhd plus and wqhd so wqhd plus with adaptive is working now so you can apply it and it works perfectly fine okay just have to go to the screen resolution and you see this wqhd plus i i already selected the adaptive so it's working perfectly fine uh, the next feature is related to your buttons if you want to hide it and you want to see the full screen without buttons just go into the settings then just go into the display option once you enter into the display option you have to scroll down and then you will see the option of navigation bar okay just select this navigation bar option and here you see the buttons option and swipe gestures so if you select this swipe gestures option the button uh, will uh, hide and you see there is a full screen option okay and then there is a very small bar at the uh, end of your phone you can see over here okay so you can use it so uh, you can hide your buttons okay the back button uh, the multi window button so simply you can go to the settings and then go display and then you have the navigation bar option you see navigation bar so it's up to you whichever option you like personally i like the buttons so i select the buttons option so it will be easy you can also change the button order as well so this is the uh, another tip so next tip is related uh, to the screen protector so you have to enable your touch sensitivity if you have a screen protector on just go to the settings okay and then go to the display and once you enter into the display you will see an option of uh, touch sensitivity okay you see this touch sensitivity option so it increase the touch sensitivity of the screen for use with the screen protector so when you have screen protector your touch sensitivity is working perfectly fine uh, if you enable this option the next option is related to the uh, this uh, notification panel so you can um, uh, move down your finger you swipe down your finger anywhere on your screen and your notification panel will appear you can scroll down anywhere on the screen so how to enable this option go to the settings 
once you enter into the settings you will see an option of home screen just select this once you enter into the home screen you will see the option of swipe down for notification panel okay you see over here just enable it and um, now it is ready okay so once you select it it is ready now you can uh, swipe down anywhere uh, in your screen to use this uh, notification panel option and uh, the next feature is related to the uh, video brightness just go into the settings okay then uh, go into the advanced features okay and then you have the option of video brightness just have to scroll down okay you see this option of video brightness currently it is normal you can change it to the bright okay once you select this bright option you have different apps open uh, open in front of you so you can customize whichever app you want to use it uh, for the video brightness of so youtube netflix google play video player so all options are available and uh, the next feature is related to the sounds okay just go into the settings then uh, go into the sounds and vibration okay once you select it you will uh, see an option of a uh, uh, sound quality and effects just select it once you select you will see the option of dolby atmos so just enable this dolby atmos for better sound and if you uh, click on it you have the options of auto movie music voice so you can select the movie so whatever you know, movie you play it will enable the dolby atmos uh, but personally i like the auto so uh, it will work perfectly fine on any uh, video app any movie app so it is working perfectly fine the uh, last uh, tip is related to the edge panel so you can see if i uh, take out the edge panel i will i have more options over here if i scroll on the uh, phone you can see all different options are available for edge panel so you can also enable these options so how to enable these option you just have to go into the settings okay once you enter into the settings you will see an option of uh, uh, display okay just enter into the display once you enter you will uh, see the option of uh, uh, edge panels so just select it and in the edge panel you see the panels option just select this one and then you have all different panels option so you see i uh, take all of them okay so you can take other of uh, other panels you can see they are not take so i am now uh, taking them so now i enable all of these option okay and then i go back and then uh, if i uh, try to open the edge panel from the side okay so you can see i take out the edge panel the edge tray so you will see i will enable it okay so now you can see i have different uh, options available okay so you can see there are different av available campus and then we have weather different apps so you can use this edge panel option as well uh, so guys this is for today's video i hope you like the video i hope you enjoy the video so you know, please do subscribe to my channel guys thank you very much